Adam, if you can take a step back, uh, tell us about your background, where you're from and uh, what brought you to Leinster in the first place. I'm from uh, Kildare, a little village called Kill. It's uh, just outside Nace. Uh, I actually came to rugby quite late. Uh, Gaelic was my real first kind of passion. So I loved that, played with Kill. Uh, ended up on the Kildare underage teams. And then uh, just in school, one of the lads said, geez, you should give uh, rugby a shot. You might be good at it, miss a few classes. So I said, sure, why not? And uh, was lucky enough to kind of make the the North Midlands team uh, from playing with Nace Rugby Club and then uh, the Leinster under 18s as well so I uh, just kind of went from there and then realised I, I loved it and kind of couldn't get enough of it. You know I was lucky to kind of play a year young which really helped me because I was late to the game and um, to kind of be exposed to that kind of training as well just for an extra year really helped me so I started playing with Nace and then if you're lucky enough you get selected for the, the North Midlands side so they're like the area team so there's the Midlands, the South East uh, and a few other teams as well and then from there you get selected for the, the under 18s, the Leinster Youth training squad and you train throughout, throughout the summer alongside the, the schools, the under 19s um, and then you play with that and then the next year it's kind of under 19s, under 20s. If you work hard enough, um, you know, it doesn't really matter if you come through a school or a club, uh, you'll get there. My brother Sam, he ended up uh, going over to Manchester United whenever he's quite young, he just turned 16. Uh, you know, looking back, everyone kind of thinks it's a dream, but uh, he probably won't mind me saying it, but you know, he was always, he seemed quite young and for him to just get up and leave at 16, you know, it's actually quite daunting and quite tough, but uh, in fairness to him, he grew up quite quick and, uh, you know, he adapted really well and, you know, he loved it and then uh, he's in Everton now at the moment, so he's really loving living in Liverpool as well, uh, loves the setup in Everton, so, you know, yeah, I suppose the two of us kind of went two different routes. We're here outside the engineering building. Education is a crucial part of the academy system here. Definitely. I started off doing general engineering in UCD and then after first year you branch out. So I chose biomedical engineering. Uh, it's probably not as well heard of as the other disciplines like civil and mechanical, but it's kind of a new area that kind of focuses on using the engineering principles and applying them to how the body works. So you could, it's, it's the one thing I like about engineering, whatever discipline is, it's extremely diverse. So, uh, you know, you won't get bored and you can end up working kind of anywhere and any anything nearly. So I'm actually going to try maybe tie it into sports somehow, rehabilitation maybe, or look at something like that. So I uh, haven't really thought about it too much, but I finished my degree there at Christmas. So I'm hoping to start into a master's now and chip away at that and just get through it slowly. You know, that was one of the things uh, my mum was uh, extremely surprised about, you know, Leinster want the players to, you know, continue their education and, you know, are really helpful, you know, Leinster, I can't thank them enough, they've, they've helped me the whole way through, if I have an exam or an important lecture, you know, they'll let me do a gym session around it and stuff like that and, uh, yeah, I think it's a good balance as well, especially being in UCD, it's so close to where we train and, you know, as well, if you're injured or, you know, it's nice to have another thing to, to focus on, not just rugby and, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time in UCD studying engineering. A day in the life would probably, you'd have to have the gym in there, uh, a bit of college, either college work or getting to a lecture, some training out on the pitch, uh, I think a bit of relaxing in the evening with the lads and um, I think getting as much sleep as well in as possible and eating as much as I can, that would be a typical day for me. You did mention there about relaxing with the lads and one of the things that we, we spotted was obviously the darts board, be it in, in Leinster HQ or at home. but. Uh, this morning, um, the dartboard played a part in your untimely downfall and in your <laughs> your logistics in terms of getting here. Yeah, I uh, went to grab my bike this morning and uh, found a dart stuck in the wheel, so uh, that wasn't exactly helpful, but you know, I suppose that's part and parcel of living with five other lads, you know, stuff's going to happen, so uh, you just get on with it. I was lucky enough to, one of my other housemates, Liam, he uh, gave me the end of his bike, so we're all good friends, so it's, uh, you know, I'll take it on the chin. You know, normally for me, I come in on a Monday, I do my weights in Leinster, and then I might have a lecture in between meetings, so, you know, I hop on the bike and kind of cycle over and try to get in as much lectures as I can. It saves me the kind of the time studying later in the year, but um, 
Other than that, then it, just, it depends. Like you might have a game at Leinster A, or if you're selected for the Leinster Seniors, you'll be prepping for that all week. And then if not, you'll play with your club in the AIL. So my club is UCD, and we're actually doing quite well this year. We're we're top of the top of the AIL, so hopefully we'll stay there and win it. But um, no, you, you'll either play with them, and then yeah, as you said, the sevens kind of started up recently. So really enjoying that. Uh, started that during the summer and the main goal was kind of to progress, like get a shot at the Olympics. So we've kind of done our job so far. We've one more tournament left, that's on in Monaco. And if we can win that, we'll go to the Olympics. So there's one more spot left in the, in the pool in the Olympics. So uh, that's the main goal. So we've been prepping for that as well, intertwined between uh, Leinster and the AIL. It can, it can be busy and, you know, I think the thing is just not to let it overwhelm you. How important are the structures in Leinster to actually facilitate what you want to do during the academy? You know, it's it's state of the art. Like the first the first day I went into the new building, I, I was just in awe. You know, the the equipment is state of the art, and yeah, you have people there to help you in, in every discipline. You have uh, Daniel Davy, who's uh, head of nutrition, and you know he's always trying to find the cutting edge, kind of get the best out of everyone. You know, and he's very individualized. You know, he'll he'll set out a plan for each player. So I really enjoyed working with him. On the other side, you have a lot of coaches that you can work on. For any type of skill, you know, you have Gervin, especially for the backs, a high ball, kicking, passing. Uh, you have Leo, who will take the forwards, especially in the line outs and the malls. You have Fogs for the breakdown work. We have Kurt McQuilkin in, who's really, really helped our D. I think Leinster, you know, in the, in the Pro 12, have the best defensive record at the moment. So, um, you know, you can see his effect that he's having. You have a coach for nearly everything, and then you have the strength and conditioning side as well where everyone they're always pushing the boundaries and always trying to you know get the best out of the players and I, I think you can see it coming through in the pitch as well uh, and everything as well you know if you just need someone to talk to you know there's a lot of people there and I think everyone gets on on quite well and um, you know I wouldn't have a bad word to say about anyone I think it's a really positive environment and everyone's pushing to do well. A focus in on the house, the four lads from Nice are living together does that help? Yeah no I, I really enjoy it to be honest you know it, it, me, Tom and Peter, we've played youths together. Then I actually lived with Josh uh, on campus in UCD before the four of us moved in together. But you know, it's nice to, especially whenever things are going well, you know, you just kind of use the positive energy and kind of buzz off each other. And I think we all get on really well. We all kind of offer our own little kind of style of banter and stuff like that. But Peter's actually finished his degree, but we're all studying in UCD. And you know, we kind of have our own group of friends as well. So if you do need to switch off, you know, you're only around the corner from another group of lads or um, whoever it might be. But uh, I, I wouldn't have a bad thing to say about living with uh, the three other lads. You know, well, I'd have a few, but <laughs> I won't say them yet. <laughs> Biggest messer would probably be a toss up between Tom or Peter, I'd say. Josh would have to be the cook, you know, he spends, I'd say, 90% of his day cooking or eating, you know, so uh, he always has the new contraptions, like he got a Nutri bullet there and, uh, you know, in fairness to him, he does cook up uh, really good meals and, you know, he gets he gets extremely involved and you can't even talk to him whenever he's cooking, so, uh, yeah, he, he'd have to be the cook now, so I'd say. Tom, Tom spends a ridiculous amount of time in the shower like you know you can't you literally can't get him out of the shower he loves that shower his radio put in it the blue lights and um, yeah like he's he's in there 24 7. finally what do you bring to the house adam burn uh i'd like to say i i keep the mood quite light and just a bit of banter i don't really like sitting in the house so uh i'll try to get the lads out whether we go to movies or go to you know go get some food somewhere or something like that so uh, you know I just kind of live an all-rounder keep the mood light.